So with mortgage rates around 7% and home prices on the rise, they've been rising ever since COVID pretty much started. Some people are saying, I wish I would have bought a home 40 years ago. Well, I love a good trip down memory lane. So let's compare buying a home in 1981 versus today. A lot has changed. And you might be shocked as to what was really going on in 1981. So let's get after it right now. And welcome to the Living in Utah channel. I'm Mike Gallagher. I'm a local real estate agent. And if you want to learn everything about the state of Utah, you've come to the right channel. If you haven't already subscribed, you may consider tapping that subscribe button down below and hitting that bell notification. YouTube will send you an alert every time I release a new video. And that's every week. Apart from making videos, I also help people buy or sell real estate. So if I can be of any assistance, I'll put my contact information on the screen. It'll also be down in the show notes. Today, I'm going back in time till 1981. Do you remember that time? There was a big royal wedding, Prince Charles and Princess Diane. What a great lady. I do miss that lady. Ronald Reagan was president and MTV was launched. And back then, MTV actually played music videos. I turn the channel on now. I'm not too sure what I'm watching. The U.S. found itself in a severe recession, and I was a kid in school. And we also know today it is a tough time out there for home buyers, especially first time home buyers. The internet is full of comparisons on this area versus that area. And I've got many videos on my channel on the same thing. Also things that talk about this year compared to last year, but I wanted to go in a different direction and find out who was being successful navigating the challenges of buying a home back in 1981. So why did I choose 1981? Well, the Realtor organization just produced an article comparing 1981 to today. A couple things to remember back in 1981. Mortgage rates were 18%. Yes, 18% for a mortgage. I know it's shocking. That is the actual rate and unemployment was over 7%. So the buyers back then had many challenges. And I'm always hearing people say, I'm glad I bought my home 30 years ago, 40 years ago. Or, this is a good one too, I would never buy that $75,000 truck. That's the same price I paid for my first home. I hear these things just about every day. Also, how about this one? Have you ever heard someone say, I bought my first home when I was 21 years old? Hmm. So what was the median age of a first-time home buyer back in 1981? Well, in 1981, it was 29 years old, not 21. And what's the median age of a home buyer in 2022? 36 years old. So you're not behind in life. Everybody is taking more time to buy their first home. Let's take a look at what percentage of buyers were first time home buyers back in 1981. It was 44% of the home buyers were first time home buyers in 1981. Compare that to 34% today. So there is a substantial difference, but there could be a little bit of a reason for that. Over the last few years, there has been a lack of inventory, especially over the last three years. So many people would like to purchase a home, but it's been a tough market to find a home, and sometimes homes were going above asking price, which meant people had to come with money out of pocket. And it's tough when you're a first time home buyer to come up with that additional funding. And another thing to point out, I'm noticing that there's a shift in society. Some younger individuals want the freedom of renting and the ability to be able to move anywhere they want. So if they get a job offer in Texas or Boston, they can just move. Also remember that people are starting families later in life. So this also puts a little bit less demand on getting into a home. For some people, an apartment will work just fine. I'd love to hear your comments on the subject down below. Let's shift gears for a minute. Did you know in 1981, 73% of home buyers were married? Well, last year that number dropped to 61%. Now those numbers did not um, set off any bells for me because in general, the marriage rates have been on a decline for many years. When we look at unmarried couples in 1981, they made up about 6% of home buyers. But last year, it increased to 10%. Not surprised again, that goes back to my theory on 
the marriage rates, how they have been in a decline for quite a few years. And when we take a look at single men and women who purchased homes back in 1981 compared to last year, the numbers came out about the same. How about the median age of repeat home buyers? Well, in 1981, the median age was about 36 years old. Today, the median age is 59 years old. Now think about that for a second. So the median age is the middle number in the range. That means that half of the repeat buyers in 2022 were over the age of 59. I've got one last comparison for you. The number of people who finance their homes. Now remember, back in 1981, interest rates were 18%. 93% of home buyers got financing. Wow, I'd love to get my hands on those amortization schedules. That would be something to see. In 2022, the number of home buyers who received financing was 79%. Now remember, in 2022, the rates were very low, 3, 3.5% three loans for some of the year. But we also have to remember, there was a lot of cash buyers in the market, especially large corporate buyers, companies coming in, purchasing homes, turning them into rentals. Back in 1981, that wasn't happening very often. We also had some buyers that had a lot of equity in their home. They would sell the home and pay cash for their new purchase. I always enjoy a good look at the past. It gives me a great perspective of where we are at today and where we may be heading in the future. If you have any kind of questions, by all means, reach out to me. Glad to answer anything that I can. Until the next video, take care. Stay safe.